Um, this is part two of my how to speed up iOS 4 tutorial. I did my um, first part yesterday, which had a few things you can go through, and these are um, a couple more just because I couldn't fit these into the 10 minute slot the last time. Okay, so the first other thing, which I actually haven't done because I quite like it, as you can see, I double tap, I've um, actually got multitasking enabled on mine, but a lot of people don't like it, and it does noticeably slow down your phone. If you disable it you'll get a, a noticeable increase in speed. So I'm going to show you how to disable it for those of you who are more about speed than the need for multitasking. So what you're going to need to do, as you've just seen, I've opened Cydia. It's just going to load data for a minute. Okay, now what we're going to do is have to add this repo. Um, if I can find the um, .deb file elsewhere then I'll include it on its own. But for now um, we're going to have to add this repo. Okay, so CD is now loaded, so what we're going to do is go to manage at the bottom and then at the top, well in the middle, sources and then we're going to click edit and then add. Okay, now this is the source we're going to add, so it's got the HTTP there, so type in Sin full. Oh, my typing's pretty terrible today. iPhone repo then dot com then the slash. I've already got this added. Yeah, you can see it nice and clearly there. And I shall, as last time, include this text file at the side. So add that repo and then refresh your sources and it will appear in here. Okay, so this is the source. Obviously, you know, mine has the icon, yours won't initially. Anyway, open it up. Okay, and the thing we are looking for is called Disable iOS 4 Multitasking. So let's have a quick scroll down to D. Ah, you can see it's the only thing there. Alright, so it makes it nice and easy to find. So, open that up, click on it. Um, and all it does, as it says, is disable the need for multitasking because, as it goes on to clarify, it's not true multitasking as you know because some programs do and don't work with it. But anyway, I'm not going to install this as I um, like the multitasking. I think it's a good feature. But if you are finding speed is still an issue for you, you can try to disable it, install that, um, reboot your iPhone, and then it's done. So that's step one done. Alright then, so now we're going to go on to step two which is quite a serious one which is actually the processor overclock. There's two ways to do this I'm just going to go over the first one which is just for the 3G because it's already been patched. There's technically another way to do it which I shall do in a later video but it's quite a more serious one um, which is compatible with basically every device um, but for now we're just going to do this for the iPhone 3G. This may also be compatible with the iPod Touch second generation. I've heard from a friend of mine who said it worked, but um, I'm not going to recommend it as it uh, in the README it does just say that it's for the iPhone 3G. So anyway, let's get started. What you'll need to do is download this file, which I shall link you to. Uh, it's only tiny, as you can see, it's 2 kilobytes. Download that, and you shall get this file, okay? Um, so extract it and it will look a bit like this, okay? So technically as you can see and um, this is an overclock for the second generation iPhone there which, you know we don't want, that's for 3.1.3 that's a 3.1.3 for the third generation iPhone which is ours so you know it's there if you need it but anyway what we are after is the third generation on iOS 4 so open the folder up and you will just see this one file. So now through either um, SSH or iPhone Explorer which is my preferred method you need to navigate to this directory so I shall show you doing that now. Okay, system, library, system configuration which is here, power management bundle and you're going to need to open that one up, okay? 
So, this is the power management bundle. Right, as you will now um, be in that folder, you need to start looking for this file, okay? And you'll notice that it's just here, okay? I'm not going to extend that out so you can read the whole thing. That's the file. So what you'll need to do now is um, very simply just drag that out somewhere. I've already backed mine up, as you can see, I've already done this. You just click, drag it out, and it will back up, okay? Once you've then backed it up, you need to delete the file, remove it from your system configuration. Then go get the patched one from this folder, drag and drop it in, let it finish. So it will have replaced it, and now because mine is the replaced one, it will look exactly like this. Close it down SSH or iPhone Explorer, close the folder, um, eject your iPhone so you're actually rebooting unplugged, which apparently is important. Um, and then turn your phone off and on again, and you are done. So that's it for this one. Um, I hope, well, I hope you didn't need to do any of these speed hacks. I hope your iPhone's working better than mine did, but I had to do some of them. I will do a final video on the. Um, there are technically two more ways to overclock your iPhone, and I will go over them in a separate video just dedicated to that. But this is probably the easiest and safest way for the 3G and all that does is um, enables your phone to go up to the 600 megahertz that Apple could have allowed but and they limited it down to I think it's 450 maybe 475 around that area anyway um, due to battery life issues and um, some people say heat but I have to say mine hasn't changed in heat at all um, but yeah so all you're doing is it's not technically overclocking you're just clocking to normal I suppose um, but yeah, that's probably the safest way for the 3G. I will do the other two in another video. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it all went well for you. Um, good luck, let me know how it goes.